Hello Leo, this is Debs and this is your TGIF weekly reading for Friday the 4th of August 2023. My gorgeous Leos, I do hope you're all well. Thank you so much for being here and let's dive in and see what may be happening for you over the weekend and a brand new week. Here we go. Here we go, Leo. Let's find out. Now, the deck that I'm using is the Tarot Royale by Chiro Marchetti. All of the decks that I use are down below in the description box, as well as a link to my website if you're interested in a private reading. Okay, Leo, here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF weekly reading for my Leos. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Friday, the 4th of August, 2023. What do we have? For Leo, please, Michael. Thank you. Oh, the air feels really heavy. I don't know what's going on with you, Leo. Yes. Okay. What's going on, Leo? Hmm. We'll find out, guys. That wants to come out too. Anything else, Michael? Okay, that is it. All right. Let's have a look, guys. Leo, oh my goodness. Now, I could be connecting with a masculine Leo, okay? Leo, you moved towards someone sat in the Knight of Wands. You were very, very attracted to this person. You pursued them. You guys had an amazing time with the Nine of Cups, but it might have been all about the passion initially for you, I've got to admit. After that time, Leo, I think with a Five of Cups, you realised that this person wasn't that interested. So this could have been a one-off situation and you tried to reach back out, but you didn't get a lot of response. With the energy of the hangman, they didn't really move in accepting you back into their life. It was sort of stalemate. You may later have realised that this person was very sad, a bit disappointed, maybe. A Leo with the Page of Pentacles, you may have tried to reach out and offer her some sort of gift, or you may have wanted to turn up with some kind of apology, because you may have thought, yeah, I was a little bit overindulgent. I was all about the passion. Maybe she thought that was all I wanted. That's why she wasn't interested in developing this. She was a bit fed up, right? With the energy of the Hierophant, you wanted to explain to her that you felt a very strong spiritual connection, but I think she cut off from you. Now, Leo, I think with the energy of the Two of Pentacles, you've been deliberating as to whether or not you should try again. This time, Leo, you're not going to simply try and reach out to say, hey, sorry, I was sat in the night of wands before. I do want to be with you. This time, Leo, what you're going to say is, with a king of swords, I want to tell you the truth. And the truth is, Leo, that you've actually pushed other options away. So you want her to know that there's no one else that you're interested in. It's just her. Because I think you felt that she believed that you were sort of playing the field and it might be why she held back from you. So that's your game plan, Leo, okay? Now, with the energy of the strength card, she may hold back from you, she may not. This time, you're not going to be sat in any type of overindulgent energy. You're gonna rein in your passion for her. It's almost as if you want to prove to her that you're not just interested in a one night stand, you know, that sort of thing. It's going to take it out of you, Leo, because you're very attracted to this woman. But I think you feel that if you behave in a way which suggests that you do want a relationship, she's going to reopen the door because you really want to be with her. I think you feel the way you came towards her before simply put her off. OK, so you've been deliberating. Do I reach out and tell her the truth, which is I'm not interested in anyone else. It's taken me a lot of courage to come back to you because you pushed me away before you weren't interested. But I really do want to start a relationship with you. So that is where we start your reading, Leo. Here we go. Tara du Soleil. So, Leo, you have met someone 
that yes, you're attracted to, but you may have given her the impression that it was just lust, right? I think you want to set the record straight. You've been doing some thinking about this, realising why she potentially pushed you away before. Hoping that she's going to open the door to you and you can start a relationship. Yeah? All right. Cars are flying everywhere. There we go. All right, Leo. I think... Yes, Michael's saying that's that's it. Okay. Let's see what we've got, guys. Ah, oh, Leo, this is rather beautiful. So, guys, we start with the Ace of Wands. So, yes, Leo, you were very, very physically attracted to this woman, but you may have felt that you gave her the impression that was all that you wanted. The next time you approached her, she sat in the Queen of Swords energy. She was not happy. I think she pushed you away. I think she made it very clear that she wasn't interested in seeing you again. And I think for you, it was a tower moment. You did not expect her to react in this way and you moved straight into the Ten of Swords. You kind of couldn't believe it. Oh my goodness, I thought she was into me. Obviously not. This is not a woman who's looking for a passionate connection. She wanted a relationship. So Leo, this is you with a strength card, having the courage to approach this woman again. You don't know what she's going to say, but you are offering her the Ace of Cups. Not the Ace of Wands, Leo, the Ace of Cups. So we will see if this woman opens the door to you again. You're coming in with a completely different energy. Here we go, this is the Tarot of Dreams. So where do we start this reading for my Leos? Thank you, Michael. The Page of Cups. <laughs> Leo, so you plan on moving towards this woman. You may feel you need to apologize. Ace of Swords, you're gonna speak your truth. Which I think, Leo, is, look, I was very, very attracted to you, but I think I gave you the wrong impression. I wasn't just looking for a quick fling. I was hoping to build this into something else. But I think you took my enthusiasm for you, the passion I had for you, as a sign that I just wanted a little bit of fun, which was not right. Yeah. What you want to say, Leo, is I do want a relationship. Tree of life. What you're going to say to her is you were in your head. You were trying to figure out why she didn't respond to you the second time around. And potentially you realized it was because she got the wrong impression. Okay? Yeah. So with the energy of the death card, Scorpio energy... You want to close out that previous chapter and you want to show her that you can transform this connection. What is Leo closing out? Okay, so Leo, you might have been interested in other people. There may have been a tendency of keeping in touch with exes, friends of benefits. You're closing out a cycle of dating other people because you want to prove to her that you just want to be with her and that's it, no one else. Yes, look at that. So you're pushing away other people, Leo. And I think your plan is, is to move towards her, to express to her that you're ready for a relationship. Yes, the star. So you wanna heal this connection, Leo. You could be wanting to approach an Aquarius. You know she's gonna be a bit guarded. Oh yeah, Queen of Swords. You want to get her out of this cold, defensive energy. This is someone that you really hope to build a connection with. Yeah, because with the Nine of Pentacles, she is sitting in pre-Empress energy. And this is someone that you don't want to let go of, Leo. Yeah, she left you out in the cold because she may have thought that you were planning on juggling her with other people. 
And what you're realizing is this is a woman that you don't juggle with anyone, right? What is Leo saying to this woman? What is Leo going to say to this woman? Okay, the devil. I was wildly attracted to you, but uh, you may have got the impression that I wasn't to be trusted. I was sitting in a little bit of risky energy, just having a little bit of fun. Leo, I don't know whether or not you were in the past. You may have been, but I think your energy now is very different. Yeah, you're coming in with the Knight of Coins energy. Knight of Pentacles, you mean business. You're still very attracted to her, Leo, but you want her to understand it's not just the chemistry. It's not just that. Yeah, wow. Knight of Cups. Leo, did you unexpectedly develop feelings for this woman? Okay. Wow, they're all falling out. Yeah, and with the Nine of Swords, you were highly stressed. You were highly stressed. Now, one fell on the floor, guys. One minute. Here we go. So with the Eight of Coins, Leo, you've been working on your foundation. You've been concentrating on your career. And you've realized that you want to put effort into this. You want this to turn into a proper relationship. Yeah. Hmm. You want to move to Karma Waters with a Six of Swords. You're working on moving to Karma Waters with this woman. You're determined. Because with the Ten of Wands, you can't bear her to think that all you really wanted was a few nights of passion. And you feel, Leo, with the Three of Swords, that she may be heartbroken, feeling that she was used in some way. Mm. And that's maybe why she held back from you. You're realising this. This is a sharp wake-up call. Oh, okay, I get it, right? She thought I was a bit of a player. It's going to take courage for you to return. Yeah, with the moon, because you're not quite sure how she's going to take this. Is she even going to respond to a message? You don't know. But what you do want to say is, with the six of coins, you do want an equal give and take relationship. You're really ready to put in the effort with her. With the hope, hangman, that she's going to get out of this stuck energy and she's going to see things from a different perspective. Yeah. Yeah, and come out of this almost victim mentality energy. Because Leo, with the three of wands, you wanted to know that you're thinking about her. You really want to see her again. You feel really bad for how things were left before. You just want to be honest. Wow. Four of Wands. Leo, do you think this is the one for you? Do you feel this is the woman that you want to get serious with? Seven of Coins. You've been looking at the past and what you're realising is you gave her the wrong impression. Yeah, you gave her the impression that you just wanted a good time. You just wanted to be indulged. And that was that. But the reality is, Leo, you want to hang on to this woman. You don't want to let her go. You can't bear the thought of her being with anyone else. But how are you going to do it? Okay, eight of wands. So you are going to reach out. You may want to ask her if she's free. You know, when are you available? I'd love to see you. Do you have, you know, five minutes? That sort of thing. Because with the Ten of Cups, you want to tell her that she's the one. Wow, Leo. She's the one. Yeah, you are manifesting the Ten of Cups with this woman because you believe that she's the right person. Yeah, look at you go, King of Wands. So Leo, you are no longer coming in with the Knight of Wands energy. You're coming in as a king of wands you're absolutely i was going to say determined to prove to her that you are trustworthy that you're going to be honest and open with her and you're really hoping that this time around she's not going to say no 
Yeah, because with the Ace of Coins, Leo, you're coming in with a really stable offer to commit. This is major. Goodness me. What is this woman's energy? What is this woman's energy? All right. Well, she sat in an abundant energy, so she could be doing very well financially. She's ready for a commitment. She's really ready. Two of Swords. She could have blocked you before. Or she is going to want to do some thinking. She's sitting in the energy of the Temperance card. She's tempering the desire to run. She's trying to figure out if you're telling the truth. She felt disappointed before, Leo. She didn't want you to sit in the Knight of Wands with her. She may have had other men come on to her in the same way. What's she thinking about? Yeah, Leo had a lot of other options. And she didn't want to be an option, which is why she pushed you away. But with the world energy, you're going to be reaching out. You could be traveling to see her. What you want to say is, I've closed out a cycle of messing around with other people. Yeah, you're closing out a cycle of sitting in the night at once. Okay, Leo. So you may have initially wanted a short-term fling type situation but when she pushed you away you realized that you missed her and you felt this strong connection this spiritual connection so you're coming back hoping that she's going to say okay let's give this another chance hoping leo that this time she's going to say okay let's give it a shot right ace and wands you're still wildly attracted to her. But I think, Leo, you're going to temper that because you want her to know that you respect her. She's coming through with the energy of the Empress. Wow, so she's a single Empress. How is Leo feeling? You believe she's the one with a son. Now, for some of you, Leo, you may have become awoken to the fact that you met your true divine feminine. What is going to happen here? Okay, you mean business. You're turning up with a gift to say sorry. You're going to tell her that she makes you incredibly happy. You're going to apologize for giving her the impression that you just wanted a fling. And you're going to hope that she is going to say, okay, let's try again. Archangel Michael, what is this woman going to say? Should we just check? What is this woman going to say to Leo? Are you ready to sit in the energy of the emperor? Because I am an empress. What is Leo's response? Absolutely, because I realized I loved you. I realized I had feelings for you. Goodness me, Leo. <laughs> okay, nothing else wants to come out. So, it could work out. It could work out. Guys, let's move to messages. So, Leo, the Hidden Truth Oracle. Archangel Michael, what would Leo want to say to this woman? I'm starting to understand our connection. Yes, Leo. Not only were you very attracted to this woman, you realized she was sat in Empress energy. She was independent. She had a lot to offer. And you realized this could have been a past life connection. Yeah, I wish I treated you better. Leo, there's a lot of regret here. It's as if you wish you could turn back the clock. It's as if you wish you could just start all over again. That's what you're hoping for. You are very attracted to her, Leo. You're not going to pretend you're not, but you are going to hold back from trying to be intimate with her because you want her to know that you are serious. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you, yeah? Yeah, Leo. What are you saying to this woman, Leo? So many things remind me of you. You cannot stop thinking about this woman. 
you can't stop thinking about this woman. I feel you even though we're apart, yeah. You know that this is a very deep soul connection. You could feel as if you're communicating telepathically sometimes. I want to tell you how I feel. Leo, this is so clear. I think you had no idea that this woman was going to show up in your life. You thought you'd take a chance. Let's go for it. Why not? I'm very attracted to her. It was only when she pushed you away, when you tried to reach out again, um, that you realized that she was sitting in a lot of self-respect and she thought you were a bit of a player. Sorry, Leo. But yeah, so you're coming back with an apology, maybe with a little gift to say, look, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, I didn't realize how important you were in my life. I can't get you off my mind. I'm so attracted to you. I wish I treated you better. I think about you a lot. So many things remind me of you. I feel this telepathic connection, even though we're apart. Just let me tell you how I feel. So Leo, it's all going to come out. <laughs> it's all going to come out. So guys, I am leaving the reading there. A beautiful reading. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way. And many blessings. Bye, Leo.